Yo, welcome back to the channel. I am Brian Lee Durfee. You can see my name right there. I am the author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart, both books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today I'm going to be reviewing Cockroaches by Joe Nesbo. Probably my favorite title of any book ever. I love that title. Uh, for reasons that you'll see in the review. And um, this book came out in 1998. It is book number two in Joe Nesbo's Harry Hole mystery series. Detective Harry Hole from Norway. Um, I pronounce it Harry Hall. Some say Harry Hooley. Some say Harry Hall. Hull, like H-U-L-L. -L. Some say Harry Hool. I, it's Harry Hall to me. It's, uh, look at it. I mean, read it. It says Harry Hall. That's the guy's name. And I got the whole series. And I left a review of book number one, The Bat, earlier this year. And we will, um, as we pan around my entire library here of books... You will see that I've got um, all of the Joe Nesbo Harry Hole collection right there, and we're reviewing book number two. So this uh, this cockroaches goes up there. Anyway, that's what we're up to today, folks. What is cockroaches about, and why do I love that title so much? Well, it's about some of the worst crimes and criminals and types of criminals you can find. And they are literally cockroaches. I mean, the people that do this kind of thing are cockroaches. We're going to get into that. Um, so Harry Hall is a Norwegian investigator. The book starts out in Norway. Harry Hall is with his younger sister who has a special needs girl. Now, one of the hardest things to read about is this special needs girl and her backstory where she was sexually assaulted by a person who the police didn't do a very good job of investigating. Even though Harry Hole is part of the police, he thinks his department bungled it. And we get a pretty detailed description of what that special needs girl went through. And it's hard to read. So if you don't like reading very graphic, R-rated, sexually explicit books about child molestation, stay as far away from this book as you can because you will not want to read it, because it even goes deeper than that. Cockroaches, folks. That's the type of people we're talking about. Cockroaches. Type of people that do these kind of crimes. And so um, Harry Hall gets called. There's a, a, a Norwegian um, diplomat who is found murdered in Bangkok, Thailand. And so Harry Hall has to fly off to Thailand to do that investigation. The thing is, is Thailand is known, was known in 1998 when this came out as the place where pedophiles could go to Bangkok and um, go to, into brothels and just be with children in the brothel. Now, Bangkok and the law enforcement in Bangkok started to crack down on this about this time. And they started to let each country, rather than them, rather than Bangkok, deal with the trial and the and the jailing of these criminals, they would let each country send representatives over to Bangkok, and those people would go ahead and put them on trial and then fly them back to their respective countries and put them in jail in their respective countries. So that's what Harry Hole's job is, is to go to Bangkok and figure out what this... Um, how the, why this dip, Norwegian diplomat was murdered, because they think that it is tied to these child trafficking brothels okay and so like i said if you do not like reading anything about that subject do not read this because it is, goes into explicit detail on all of the legal implications and everything about that world that exists in bangkok thailand during 1998 hard for me to read i've read some pretty graphic graphic things in my day and this ranks up at, oh, if not near the top I will just, I mean, I'm just letting you know. Just letting you know. However, that being said, since the subject matter is so weighty and um, dark and grim, it really gives you a um, 
perspective of rooting for the good guys at every turn, as if you didn't do that anyway. But, you know, this is just what, it's just it's what it is. It, it is what it is. There's also some snippets that, there's also some snippets of things that happen in here, like um, Harry Hall, uh, you know, <clears throat> there's a scene where one of the characters is thinking back to his time in Vietnam. And he's thinking back that I was, uh, he's like, I was, as we were fleeing Vietnam, as the American army was pulling out of Vietnam, leaving the Vietnamese to their own, and we knew that they were going to be just killed and murdered and everything, and we were on helicopters, and we were picking people up from the embassy. I was, I was like, oh my God, that mirrors exactly what happened in Afghanistan, right? Just recently with Biden and the pullout of Afghanistan, and we, I mean, and I was just reading that, thinking, you know, even even Joan Esbo in 1998 when this was written was cognizant of the fact that what happened when America pulled out of Vietnam and just leaving, just having a war there for 10, 10, 12, 13 years, and then just pulling out and leaving the people to just deal with the mess, history repeats itself. I was just reading those scenes and thinking, history repeats itself. This is what a wild and crazy world that... that, that it's captured in this book in such vivid detail. And then it happens again, just again, you know? Okay, Harry Hall. I think that's I, that's about all the plot I'm going to give you. Um, it's dark. It's dark. And the criminals are cockroaches. That's, I mean, I think you get that now. The, the people that... He is referring to the people that engaged, used to engage in this activity back in 1998 when he wrote this book, as they were cockroaches. You know, people fly across the world to go to brothels that, you know, serve up children. I mean, it's just not right. The cockroaches. That's what, that was the title. That was the name of the book. I loved it for the fact that it was so hard-hitting, powerful, and hard to read. I will read things that are hard to read because I like to, you know, I mean, I, I work at the state prison. I see with my own eyes things that are hard to see. So it's just, it's just... I think that the um, more we're exposed to the evils in the world, the more we can appreciate the peace that we've built for ourselves. That's about all I'm going to say. And I think that that is kind of one of the themes of this book. Very, very bloody ending. Very bloody. Very bloody ending. Very R-rated book. But... One of the better mystery novels I've read. I certainly love this more than I loved The Bat, book number one. And I gave The Bat a really good rating. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this a 9.75 out of 10. I would give it a 10 out of 10. It's just, I was quite frankly disturbed as I was reading this. Disturbed. So I got to knock it down a quarter of a point for that. 